This is video number seven, week three. In this video, we're gonna add behaviors to our characters. So let's just take a quick look at what we have. I have Trump standing on a platform attached to a player box. And with my arrow keys, I can control his movement. Okay, let's animate Trump a little bit now. To do that, I double click on the player and I'm going to uh, duplicate this frame three times. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to warp or transform this picture to make it look like he's breathing quite hard because he's not the fittest of people. So um, I'm going to go here and just increase the width by a pixel. That'll just distort them out a bit. And I think decrease the width by a pixel. So I'm gonna drag that frame in the middle. So let's take a look, see what happens. Okay, so there he is. He's just breathing a little bit. I'll click on here. I think um, five frames is fine. I'm gonna have that looping. Let's close that and just test it. There he is. Good. That's my first bit of animation. I'm going to double click on um, him again. And now we're going to add the run animation to this. We're going to have a facing uh, jump animation, but we're just going to do uh, adding um, idle and um, running. So I'm going to add an animation. I'm going to right click outside of the first frame, import frames from strip. And then I'm going to have a run Trump running single row. There's more Trump animation here for you to look at, but we're just going to open this for now. And that is a six frame animation with one vertical cell. So I'm going to import. And here we have Trump. And I'm going to crop this down to size. So I'm going to go apply to animation. Uh, and I'm just going to make sure that the point of origin is down the bottom here. Right click in the point of origin and apply to all animations. All right. Going to rename this animation run. It's quite important to remember these because we're going to use these in the coding. And let's test them at the default. I'm going to loop it. Let's just test them at the default setting. There, it's a bit clunky. So I'm going to increase this to 12 frames a second. Yeah, I think that's quite good. Okay, let's close off and test the view. You notice that the animation plays the first animation by default. Good. Let's add some code now. So I'm going to go to my main menu and uh, we're going to just get a few things uh, starting. We're going to have a restart on this game. So when the player falls out of the layout, he's gonna be, uh, he'll restart the game. We can do this right at the beginning. So add event, player is outside of layout. System. And then we want to reset any global variables we're going to add. So reset global variables. And also system, we're going to restart the layout. Good. Save. Now what we want to do is uh, set our animations. And it's quite difficult to get animations to run correctly with keyboard commands. So we're going to actually use the player, the platform um, coding to enable the animation. I'm going to go 
add event, player box, because that's the thing that is being controlled. Okay. And when the platform box is moving, so when platform is moving, we want player to set an animation. So that's set animation. And inside those uh, speech marks, I type run. That's the same name as the animation which I set in the, um, in the sprite animator. And now instead of redoing all of that, I can copy and paste these codes. So I can select the code I want to copy, Command C and then Command V. What we want to do now is when the player has either landed or is not moving, set the animation to play from idle. So on stopped, player set animation to idle. And then sometimes we get glitches. So let's see if we get a glitch. You can see he's actually running on the spot because he uh, he's actually moved and now he can't. You know, if I move him, you can see he'll stop. But when he lands on another platform, sometimes it's not so good. Notice it restarted because he went out of the layout. We'll adjust that later on. So I'm going to copy this again and V, command V, platform on landed. So that will just ensure that he stays still. Let's play this. Here's my trump. He's running backwards, but we're going to sort that out in a second. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is um, change the direction he's moving, and that's a thing called mirrored. And that's a keyboard command. Right now, we don't have a keyboard that we can atta we've can attached to the game yet. So I'm going to go back to level, right click, insert new object, scroll down to keyboard. Now I've got a keyboard, I can add keyboard commands. So what I want to do is when the player is moving in different directions, I want to control um, the direction that the animation plays. So I'm going to add event, keyboard, on key is down, and I'm going to choose the right arrow for now. So when he's moving in the direction he's facing, player, Set mirrored, not mirrored, because he's the right way around. Now I can copy this and paste it. When my left arrow is down, player set mirrored. Good. We'll save this. And let's check it out. Good. Now we have Trump running in different directions. Woo. And he falls out and there he is again. You can see we've got a bit of nice bit of parallax happening. 